Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to describe what's meant by oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen, hydrogen and electrons. You should then be able to describe what's meant by an oxidising agent and a reducing agent. I'm showing you here the reaction between magnesium and zinc oxide. Magnesium is more reactive than zinc, so in this reaction the magnesium atom displaces the zinc atom. Looking at the reaction, we can see that the oxygen atom has transferred from the zinc atom to the magnesium atom. When oxygen is gained like this, we call this an oxidation reaction. We say that the magnesium atom has been oxidised to form magnesium oxide. Loss of oxygen is called reduction, so in this reaction, the zinc oxide has been reduced to zinc. Scientists call reactions like this a redox reaction, as reduction and oxidation have taken place. So as you can see, oxidation and reduction can both be considered in terms of oxygen. We can also consider oxidation and reduction in terms of hydrogen. I'm showing you here the oxidation of methanol to methanol. As you can see, in this reaction, hydrogen has been removed from the methanol. Removal of hydrogen is called oxidation. If we add hydrogen, then this is called reduction. And we can see that in this reaction, where methanol is reduced back to methanol. Now, we tend to look at oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen and hydrogen in organic chemistry. But a more general way to look at these reactions is in terms of electrons. I'm showing you the reaction between zinc oxide and magnesium again. At the start of the reaction, we have the magnesium atom, which is uncharged. This loses two electrons to form the magnesium ion Mg2+. At the start of the reaction, we have the zinc ion Zn2+. This gains the two electrons from the magnesium to form the zinc atom, which is uncharged. The oxygen remains unchanged during this reaction. At the start, we have the oxide ion O2-, and at the end, we still have the oxide ion O2-. Ions that do not change are called spectator ions. Going back to the magnesium again, losing electrons is called oxidation. So the magnesium atom has been oxidised to the magnesium ion. Looking at the zinc, gaining electrons is called reduction. So the zinc ion has been reduced to form the zinc atom. Now we can write both of these as half equations. Here's the half equation for the oxidation of the magnesium atom. And we represent the electrons as E-. minus. Here's the half equation for the reduction of the zinc ion. Now in any redox reaction, the chemical accepting the electrons is called the oxidising agent. So in this case, the zinc ion is the oxidising agent, as it's accepting electrons from the magnesium atom. The chemical which is donating the electrons is called the reducing agent. So here the magnesium atom is the reducing agent, as it's donating electrons to the zinc ion. Now students sometimes find this a bit tricky. Remember that the oxidising agent is reduced, and the reducing agent is oxidised. In the next video, I'll give you some examples to work out yourself. 